Hey guys, welcome back to Carl the Crusher channel. Here representing the Crusher crew today out here. I'm actually in my back lot. I've been developing this into back pasture where my chickens and but recently me and my boys and the Crusher crew, we did an investigation inside the house with an endoscopic snake camera. And we looked through some of the ventilation ducts and the weird spots in the house, uh, up in the crawl space and some of the plumbing. And we actually found a really strange little kind of like a gremlin sort of little totem thing that made me want to investigate this property further and one thing that I've never done is gone around through this back lot and actually done some metal detecting to see if I could find anything weird that might be on the property back here from people who have lived here previously As you can see my house is actually right over there that's where we usually film a lot of videos and stuff i want to return back down there and investigate that a little bit further but i've never been back here actually to metal detect and see what might be hiding back here and i don't know if you've noticed already but i've already gone back here with my professional metal detecting equipment and i've put a couple of landscaping flags around here i'll show you what i found because i got some really big signals i'm going to scan the whole area here but i wanted to save time uh, a little bit for this video and so I went and marked some of the bigger targets with some flags and we'll see what we dig up. For those of you that are really curious, this is actually the metal detector that I'm going to be using today. It's the Equinox 800 Mine Lab. This is a really, really good uh, metal detector, the EQX11. Uh, it has a really good spread and depth and it's actually waterproof so you can put it down in the water and the ocean and stuff like that. I actually found this one because uh, the guy that does the metal detecting on the TV show Curse of Oak Island that's found a lot of the great artifacts. This was the one that he was using and I went and scoped it out off of his Instagram. And so that's what I've got. It's a professional metal detector. And then on top of that, when I pinpoint something, I actually have this as well, which is the uh, Garrett Pro Pointer AT metal detector uh, pinpointer. Holding time. And I've got that really cool little trowel and a big old shovel in this whole empty lot. If I need any help, I'll go grab one of my boys, but see, we got a red flag there, another one there. I'll metal detect around and let's see what we can find. This is one of my favorite things to do, you guys. It's like actual treasure hunting, looking for real mysteries, real treasures, but it's right here in my own backyard. It doesn't matter if it's quarantine, doesn't matter anything like that. Who knows what we'll dig up. It could be a number of any weird things or just a bunch of rusty nails. But if I get good at this and this kind of work, I might be able to go out and find some real cool treasure because there's all sorts of stuff around here that I want to go investigate and I might need the metal detector to go do it. Fire it up. There's a pair of headphones that comes with this metal detector, but I usually don't wear it. So all of you guys can hear the beep instead of just me. So yeah. All right. I've got it set up. I'm just going to do the uh, multi setting. I'm not going to look for any particular type of gold or anything like that. So we'll just go on multi one where I've already got a preset and see if we can find anything. See, it was pretty empty the first time I went through here. See, I, I just get these little chirps. That's pretty good. It's very, very deep though. I don't have like a track or a backhoe. I'm walking backwards so I can face the camera. Oh. I learned this from the Curse of Oak Island TV show as well, where they were treasure hunting and metal detecting, looking for mysteries. They would go through, metal detect and sweep a whole grid area, and then they would just mark it with a bunch of flags, go back and dig it up later. So maybe instead of you guys just watching me walk around, see that's very deep as well. Let's go to the first flag. I'll show you what, what the ping looks like and we'll dig it up. There's our first target right there. So uh, here's what we're gonna do. Just to show you guys what I experienced, I'm gonna remove the flag because it has like a little metal bottom to it. And I'll show you what it was like uh, when I was scanning up on it, like this. Hear that? It was louder when I came here before. Hear that? There we go. And according to the signal, it's only like two, maybe two feet deep, foot deep. Underneath this tall grass, like right here. But the tone is different. It's like a high pitch instead of the little chirps. So I marked it. There we go. Right? What if I go through the settings here? Maybe we can tell what it's made of. 
I don't think this one is too deep. Uh, my camera kept overheating out here. It is like in the desert. But so, so now he has me out here filming him. This is gonna be really interesting. I see you have a lot of flags out here. Are these like yeah. um, markings for big hits that you found out here? Yeah. Metal see, detecting. We've filmed these videos before, and you know, like when we've gone to the beach and tried to metal detect, and you run like an hour worth of video footage, and you get tons and tons and tons of nothing except for garbage and litter. Yeah. And so. Okay, cool. And we have this one going now. Yeah. It seems like he's found one already. And I've always wondered the people that get into this, how they don't get so nervous if it's like some really awesome artifact. They just, their first maneuver is to shove a giant shovel down in there. They're gonna split it in half, you know what I mean? I know. Or it's like they dig up some weird object or something. Okay. Well, that's the shovel. Oh, okay. Okay, let's see. That's the shovel still. Oh, I see it right there. You see it? Yeah, look, 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 look. Right here. <laughs> oh my gosh. What That's, is that? I don't know. It's look at it's got like a design on it and everything. A scroll. Dude! What? We actually found something. Dude, oh my gosh. <laughs> we went out to the beach and everything. What? It looks like a thing like a pocketbook or matches or something like what? Uh, like an old should I pull it out? I don't know. Yeah, yeah I'm gonna use it here. Let's see what it looks like. I don't know how big it is. There it is. Oh, interesting. Okay. It is definitely has a crease. Look at this. Man, that's crazy. That's I can't so believe. pretty. That's really cool looking. I can't believe we actually found something. That's awesome. We'll hold it right down here so you guys can see. Oh, oh cool. There's a mirror. Oh my gosh, there's totally a mirror inside. A little mirror. Look, this is like a little, I think a makeup. Oh, is it a little like makeup it's box? It's like a something? little vanity kit. Oh my gosh. Like, there would be makeup in here. <gasps> Interesting. And then they would powder it right here and then use that little mirror. Dude, it's, can you believe we just found this? That's so crazy. In the ground. No Look way. That. that is so cool. So somebody out here, some lady that owned this and carried this around, dropped it and it settled right down there that's super in our back lot like, like that okay huh. so should we go to the next flag yeah so far go. so good we found a first good legit find okay let's go to the next one okay you said you got another hit dad yeah it was right here this is great the battery's going i mean technically i've been here for almost like a half hour see listen to that if they drop something right here who's to say there's not something is it that stick there no it wouldn't be picked up by the stick let's see now I'm switching. If you come around here and look at the screen, when I switch the modes, and here's where it gets cool. Wait, it's not doing anything now. When I put it on pinpoint, it goes crazy. Like there's something right there. So maybe we'll just look. Let's see. How about we just see? Yeah, let's uh, let's look. We might as well. Might as well. Got that stick right there. Yeah, it's not the stick. There's still definitely something there. Right here, it seems like. So maybe if I just kind of dig down a little bit, I'll see if I can find anything. I wonder if it's on the surface or something. It could be. Oh, you know what? Look at that. Look at that. It's a piece of old wire. Oh. Oh yeah, look at that. It's a hey. whole punk and tangle of wire. Oh my that's gosh. That's definitely what it was, look. Yeah, that's, that's I, it. Th so, I think that was it. Yeah, we located some more rusty, gross debris, but not as cool as we thought. So let's go to the next flag. Okay, cool. Okay guys, here's the next flag. This all actually takes a lot longer than you think off camera. We've got three other flags back there that are pinned already in spots that I pinned in a whole big area of this back lot that I haven't even got to scan over yet. And already we've found two really interesting things, one really cool thing, but this might be the last one that we get to today. So smash that like button, please subscribe and turn on notifications and wish us good luck down in the comments. Hopefully this is something really cool. Okay, we'll see. I'm gonna switch the mode here. See that? Well, I'll show you what I'm getting. If you look over my shoulder here. What? You, can you see that? Yeah. So we're getting this hit nice and good. And then even if I switch the mode, there seems to be something made of a couple of different materials right there. And then when I switch it over to pinpoint mode, hear that? It's like, it sounds like we how, got wanna, how it feels on the inside. It's like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, really? Like, listen, it's like. <laughs> woo 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 woo. Something right there. Woo woo. <laughs> <laughs>
Okay. Uh, should we check it out? Yeah, let's check it out. We got two hits, right? Like right next to each other. Wow! Ah, sprinklers! Ah. Ah. Get the gear! Get the gear! Get the gear! Here. Okay, right here. I'm gonna remark it. Okay. You got let's that? Off the sprinkles off. Okay. <laughs> oh shoot! All right. Sprinklers are off. They're oh, done, what? finally. <laughs> we'll try this again. Actually, I thought really quick and was able to put down the little flag marker again so we don't lose our spot. So this is what we found already, the little uh, makeup booklet. And whatever it is, is right around here somewhere. So I'm just gonna look. Hopefully we didn't lose the lose where the marker was. It was right here. Maybe it's under that tuft of grass there. Yeah. Okay. Let's just dig down and go for it. So, All right. Okay, let's go. It's, I, I think I actually marked the flag in the wrong spot. I put it right there, but the signal's weak, and then I move over here. Right there. Right? Yeah, I think so. Feels like it's like right there. Here we go. Let's see if we can find this thing. The signal said it was like almost right on the surface, so I wonder if it's oh, like really a, like a nail or something right here. Yeah, this grass is super long, so this is just like I'm a sure. weed. Oh, it is right there. You, you found right on the surface. You got yeah, something? just like the thing said. Like, see it? I. Oh yeah, I see it. It's a ring. What? I think a it's ring? A, it's a ring. What? I'm pretty sure that's a ring. Look at that. Oh yeah, that's totally a ring. <laughs> <laughs> we got it. We got it. Right there. Look at that. that. Stuck down right underneath the weed right there. I almost mislocated it. Look at that. Wow. wow. That looks like a guy's ring. It's look how big around it is. Yeah. So it's it like goes, a mob boss ring. It or something. totally is. Look at that. I wonder that <laughs> that awesome. does not look like a real diamond to me. That looks kind of inset in there. It looks like it's got like a good sparkle to it, but I would doubt that that's a real diamond. Maybe yeah, we'll I bet to, that's just plastic or something. It could be glass. Glass or like or glass, or something like or something. I'm not like a, or be a jeweler, a jewelist. Here it says 14 carat. It actually says 14. 14 carat. carat SB. Oh, I might be able to look this up, but it looks like this is a 14 carat gold ring, at least plated on the outside. Dang. And it could be glass. It could be cubic zirconia. Could be a plastic gemstone in there. Wow, you but know all look about that. the stuff, don't you? It's oh, like okay. A, cool. a, a, <laughs> a guy's ring right there. I don't know if it will fit. It almost fits right on my ring finger. Dang. It's a little bit big, so whoever it was, was a big dude. You guys, I think that's it for today. We got a little makeup booklet and we've got like some kind of a big ring or mob boss and a little <laughs> bit of junk and wire and a few nails and things like that. But overall, pretty awesome. Somebody was back here and was doing stuff and dropped some things in the back lot. We've got some more flags to discover. Make sure and subscribe and turn on notifications if you want to find out and stay tuned what's underneath those flags. If anything, it could be nothing. But so far, we've had a lot of success. You guys, we'll see you in the next one. Bye. That's awesome.